Hi and welcome to another analysis video. Today I'm going to analyze Leah Salonga singing Reflection. I think it's one of her best versions that is out there, a live version. So if you're interested in learning more about how she achieves the sound by using technique, this is the video for you. Hey, if we don't know each other yet, my name is Freya Casey. I'm a professional singer and vocal coach from Germany. And I just love analyzing other singers who I think are amazing. And Leah Salonga is one of the amazing singers I'm totally in love with, you know, when it comes to her singing technique and her voice color. And I wanna dive deep. I found a lot of versions that she sang live, but this is one that I like most. Probably there are some others out there that I haven't even listened to, but here's my thing. When she originally sang the song for the Disney movie Mulan, she did a very clean version, meaning not too much vibrato, but her actual style when she sings is more vibrato. And what I've noticed over the years, she has just increased the amount and the width of her vibrato just a little bit, which is not to say it's better or worse, it's just an observation that I've made and this song in particular I like much better when it is in that Disney princess style although well Mulan is technically not a like a princess per se but l let's go and see what she does look at me I will never pass for a perfect bride or a perfect daughter Okay, let me just say this. You can't see it, but all the work she does is below the surface. And this is something I always preach. She does have really good posture. She's centered. So she works with her support, which doesn't mean she's always just like very static. It's very dynamic, but all of the control that she has comes from ha taking a nice deep breath, very controlled, and then having a nice even airstream outward. Always good compression depending on how high or low she sings when it's higher and it needs that more vocal cord closure, a little bit more intense kind of tone. Then there is a little bit more compression and then on those low pitches, you just relax it just a bit and then the vibrato can come in. Okay, so that, that's just how she achieves it. And I want you to pay attention to how she does that throughout the song as the song develops and you know the energy just increases and there's a climax. You can see how she uses that deeper breath, but she always stays centered. Can it be I'm not meant Did you see how she can it be? She took that rest, she took the break. She didn't draw out that can it be forever and ever, but she actually left a space to take a nice deep breath. It's very natural. That's where I would take a breath if I just were talking, if I were just an actor and I were, can it be? And that's a question mark and then you lift and then you continue on. And to play this part. See, I love that when she sings, and of course she's, she's a well-trained singer, play. You can hear every single letter. I always say, if you were singing to someone who didn't understand the language, they would need to be able to hear every single letter so they could actually write down all the words that you're singing. Although they may not know, know the language that you're singing in. And that's what she does. It's all very clear. Now I see that if I were truly to be myself. And I want you to also pay attention to how she uses her lips. True, be myself. So it's still, it's very natural. It's very clean and clear. You can understand every word. She doesn't adjust any vowels or consonants. It's just so clear and she places them perfectly. And using the lips is really important because if you do a U, U is not as good and resonant as U, U. Depending on how high or low you're singing, on the lower U's or closed vowels, you can be more closed. When you actually sing higher, those closed vowels do become a little bit more open so that you actually 
can keep the openness and the resonance and not cutting yourself off. You need to let the sound waves out, but she's a perfect example for really great technique in placing the vowels to where they are the most resonant. I would break my family's heart. I love how she took that time. I always bridge this to my students like, and then you have that time. She, she had tons of time. And I see all my students, they have all this time and then they go, just rushing and there's no need for it. Who is that girl I see staring straight back at me? Why is my reflection someone I don't know? Okay, when she goes to reflection, this is the version where she actually sings it in a very similar way to how she did it in the movie. She goes into mix when she sings. Why is my reflection? So very nice mixed. It has a bright resonance. She doesn't push chest voice. She doesn't belt out high with a more arytenoid heavy sound. She actually lightens up the heavy sound and goes into the mix, which makes it sound a little bit more vulnerable and actually just a little bit more brilliant. Some. Now that is fully vocal cord closure, chest voice, a arytenoid heavy, some, some, nice open vowel. Can you see? Look at her mouth shape. It's not like she's dislocating her jaw, but it's not just the jaw that makes it sound open, but it is what is going on in her pharyngeal space inside of here. So you could be very closed and nasal and still open your jaw widely, but she does a relaxed jaw, you know, not too much action. So, so very nice. Oh, I cannot hide who I am, though I've tried. Though I've tried. She, see how she really uses intensity, compression, and vocal cord closure. It's not all the same, it's very dynamic. Though, though I've tried, would not be as nice as, though I've tried. There's a musical progression. There's an actual melody line and a phrasing. Music isn't static, it's like speaking. Da -da 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 There's always tension and release. There are rival points, and she does this so nicely. It is so musically sung. When will nice breath. My reflection. Nice mix. When. Nice chest voice. When will my. Now, of course, if she wanted to stay in chest voice, she totally could. She can do it perfectly. But for this song, it is more introverted because she's talking to herself. When will my reflection? So more mix sounds just perfect here. Oh yes! See how she doesn't just sit on the pitch. Who I am inside. She doesn't just sit on it. She does something dynamically. And especially in a ballad such as this one, you can't be static. You have to do something. Who I am inside. So tension and release. You give signals to the audience. How I pray that a time will come I can free myself. And I love how she is. It's not free myself, free myself. Different emphases on different syllables. And not every part of every word is treated the same. It doesn't all have the same weight. There's heavy light, accented, unaccented, da 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 
just like when you're speaking. It's really important. It makes a song sound like you're actually telling someone a story. And meet their expectations on that day. See, I, I love now increasing intensity, more full chest voice on that day. I probably personally would just use a little bit less vibrato, but in this video right here, she still has a nice, not too wide vibrato. I feel that a few years later, it does become just a little bit wider, which it still sounds great, but when you're using it over the course of a longer pitch or it's there too much, it does sound a little less mainstream pop and it just sounds a little bit more old school. I'll discover. I love how she had the straight tone on discover. How does dis discover? discover if she had discover so how that just gives it a different flavor i love the straight tones it is very disney some way to be myself and to make my family proud i love how she even has a nice placement of all the consonants how to to it's not how to how to how to make my family proud. Yay! They want a docile lamb. No one knows who I am. Must there be a secret me? And also it is the best way for her to sing it. While she can belt high, her voice color is much more beautiful when she doesn't push it too much on the top. When she lightens up, it has a sweeter sound. And it's really this matter of everyone's voice is different. And there are singers who their strength, their brilliance in the voice really comes out when they belt out loud high. That doesn't mean that is that for, that isn't the case for everyone. And so for her, I have a very similar voice type to her, so that's why I know so much about this. It does sound a lot more brilliant and brighter and more, I don't know, more feminine in a way to actually sing it more mixed while keeping a nice open space in the pharynx though. I'm forced to hide. I love how she keeps the forced straight. It would be so different. It's, it, it's like the forced, it, it creates tension because she's singing it straight and hide, then she puts the vibrato on. She could of course also have started the hide straight and then added vibrato, forced to hide, or forced to hide, or forced to hide which is what she did here. She put the vibrato on, on the hide instantly, but I love playing with straight tones. I just don't know, it gives it, it cleans it up a little bit. Must yes. I pretend that I'm someone else for all time? When nice deep breath, did you? Oh my goodness. For all time, when Nice deep breath, that's what I always preach, but it's so hard to learn. Well, my reflection Mix. show who I am inside. Nice straight tone. Vibrato at the end. When oh yes. And taking that second of silence. Okay, that is so effective. Inside. It is so effective. Will my reflection... and now a little bit into head voice because now it's soft and so it is a lot easier and a lot better to be controlled to now go a little bit more into head voice. It is a heady mix. It's not fully tilted head voice, but that's how she gets the control while she's singing softer. Always having that center, so centered, so aligned, and her support and her breath, it's very even. Show. 
Do you see? Show. Nice open. Breath. Watch her mouth shape, watch her space. Thank you. See how she's not static? This is true artistry. It is so good. Thank you so much for watching today. Give the video a thumbs up if you're also a fan of Leah Salongas. She is amazing. She's one of my favorite musical theater singers. And um, everyone has their strengths. And her strength is definitely having that really amazing accuracy in her voice. I love it so much. Let me know in the comments what other singers you would like me to analyze so I can help you understand what they do on a technical level and on maybe interpretation level. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to dive deeper into vocal technique, check out my website at masteryourvoice.tv. There's a free five day belting challenge. There's a free seven days to perfect support course in there and lots of other goodies, a 30 minute warm up. You can also get my book on Amazon. It's called Master Your Voice, also available as an audiobook on my website in case you don't have time to read. And you can join my free Facebook group. It's also called Master Your Voice. I hope to see you there to continue the conversation. And until next time, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. I must be strong to carry